welcome back. We're in the book of Exodus. We're moving into chapter 26 now, verses 1 to 6. The, the construction in the sanctuary and all the particulars are being laid out here by Moses. And now we're moving to the sealing elements that are going to be uh, in the, the, there's three or four layers here up above the, like in the ceiling of the sanctuary, keep the rain off and everything. Let's read about it. 26, 1 to 6. Moreover, you shall make the tabernacle with 10 curtains of fine twisted linen and blue and purple and scarlet material. You shall make them with the with cherubim, the work of a skillful workman. The length of each curtain shall be 28 cubits, and the width of each curtain four cubits. All the curtains shall be of the same measurements. Five curtains shall be joined to one another, and the other five curtains shall be joined to one another. You shall make loops of blue on the edge of the outermost curtain in the first set. Likewise, you shall make them the edge of the curtain that is outermost in the second set. You shall take 50 loops in the one curtain, and you shall make 50 loops on the edge of the curtain that is in the second set. The loops shall be opposite each other. You shall make 50 clasps of gold and join the curtains to one another with the clasps so that the tabernacle will be a unit. So here we see the tabernacle is an entire uh, singular a structure, even though it has all these different pieces we're going to see. Uh, it's considered as one item now. So we're kind of moved from the furniture, not all the furniture. We've still got more stuff coming, but uh, here we're going through it in the order it's given. Here we're going to deal with the, the hangings that make up the ceiling. Now you might have noticed the cherubim. They have cherubim represented on the, on the ceiling. Like, you know, the angels, Jesus said uh, in Genesis, it's there, and Jesus said it later in the gospel. Uh, you will see the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. Jesus is the uh, the avenue through which, you know, all this is validated and, and made possible. Back in Genesis, we had uh, angels ascending and descending there and uh so this is the representation on the ceiling when you went into the sanctuary. And again, it was only like the priests. Um, but they would still see this representation of this is part representing a, a broader space where there's angels worshiping and moving about. And there's things happening in God's kingdom and there's angels coming to and fro. So interesting bits that the, the angels are represented on the ceiling and they're represented on the um, on the curtain separating the holy from the most holy place. So looking at that. So these four coverings represent the roof of the tabernacle. Uh, some other interesting pieces here as you look at the uh, composition here, I just wanted to share. Exodus 39, 29 points out that the priest's sashes are made from the exact same combination of materials that we have here. Incense was a unique kind and it wasn't to be replicated anywhere. Only the, the incense of the sanctuary was distinct. We'll see that we haven't got to it yet. But here, do you, do you remember some of those laws? There are different places where it says in a very strange way, we're kind of like, well, that's weird. It says you can't wear certain fabrics mixed with other fabrics. You can't wear linen mixed with wool. Well, here we find that the ceiling of the sanctuary is made that way. It's made out of those substances. And so uh, perhaps that has to do, that prohibition has to do with replicating uh, the sanctuary. You're not to really replicate anything there. There is one sanctuary. God meets with his people. He, has, he doesn't want anybody faking out anything in there, and it's not appropriate to represent it. And, and to wear those two items together for the priests at this time was not considered appropriate because the sanctuary that was live, that was being in, that was in use, was constructed of those materials. It was happening right then. Now today, we might mix linen and wool, maybe in some of our best clothing, you know, or our best suits and, and clothes for church. But again, we don't have a literal sanctuary with these skins and different uh, elements in it here on earth. There's only the actual heavenly sanctuary, probably not made with goats, skins and stuff like that. Nor do I think it's, it's perhaps made with heavenly uh, wool off of heavenly lambs so from somewhere else. So today those prohibitions might not have that effect for us. All right, so that'll be all today and we'll see you tomorrow morning as we finish talking about the sealing elements. Mm -hmm.